So hello and welcome to another episode of Fred's Fine Product Reviews. Today, I'm replacing my canned air. Stuff I use on my photography equipment and any place I need dust blown away. This electronic duster. It's pretty cool and I can tell you ahead of time. It is every bit as strong or better than the canned air and it doesn't spray any liquid out no matter what angle you hold it at. These things are cheap. What brand is it? I don't know. I bought it on Amazon and it seems to have no brand. They just call it the electronic air duster and look, charging indicator port. So we're going to charge it up first before we do anything else. It has three speeds. It's good. It connects to a USB-C and you can put everything that comes with it right in this bag so you don't lose anything. Here it is, USB-C connector. This thing was included in it, but I'm just going to hook it up to a phone charger. We're going to get things going. All the other parts are there too. And the other end, of course, goes to a USB connection. And there it is, charging away. I'm glad it has an indicator light, a red one. Blinks on and off. When it's charged, it'll turn green. And then it shows you all the cool stuff it does. I find some of the verbiage here funny. And uh, they show stuff blowing out of it, but nothing comes out of it but air. And they even suggest using it on your door rail system, your sofa dust, or blow grilled charcoal it says so clean your charcoal grill i don't think so maybe to start the fire get it going that might be what they were trying to suggest type c charging we already know that output airflow 7.2 kilometers per hour max it has three speeds working temp minus 10 to 50 c super powerful it says three speed wind speeds for cleanness that's interesting. Detachable nozzle. Remove and replace the nozzle. You sure can by hand. Small and lightweight. Any scene can be used at any time convenient, it says. They also want you to make sure that between charges, like if you're running it, it heats up, wait for it to cool down first. Apparently it can damage your battery. So the indicator light turned green. That means it's ready to go. We can try it out. I'm going to take the smallest and narrowest attachment because I want to blow some dust off of a video graphics card that uh, apparently has dust built up all over its cooling fan. This is how you connect it. It's really simple. You just push it in. That's it. Plus you put instructions all over it nice and big. You don't even need your reading glasses. Look at the dust on this thing. I'm embarrassed this came out of my computer. This is a Quadro K4000 graphics card. These things were really expensive when they first came out, but I've recently replaced it, so I'm not risking anything. But look at that fan. I'm embarrassed. Look at that thing. So dirty. Now, if you use a canned duster, you risk blowing liquid into your sensitive connections and things like that. So I'm kind of excited about this. Plus, I'm going to use it to blow honeybees off of hives when I'm doing inspections. But look at this. Blowing off the circuit board, you wouldn't be rubbing that with a cloth. So that's nice, and I did not use any of the little brushes that come with it. I actually think those are a little too stiff, to be honest. But this is doing a good enough job on its own. Even the connectors, you can blow those out. That's pretty darn important. And it blew a bunch of dust and dirt through here that didn't show on camera. I was impressed. And it has three speeds, as I mentioned before. And you have to go through all three once you've started it to shut it off. To turn it on, you just hold the trigger for three seconds. Starts right out. See? Press power button. Three seconds. There it goes. And another warning. Don't charge it until it cools down. Look at that. Most of the dust came out of there. That's going to make this thing function much better if I were still going to use it, which I'm not. Just using it for an example. So if you're in the market for a Quadro K4000 by NVIDIA... You can probably find them for about a hundred bucks. I think brand new. These things were about seven hundred dollars. Premiere Pro doesn't support them anymore. Thank you. And there it is, clean as a whistle. I'm impressed. So I'm going to use this thing anywhere I used to use compressed air in the can. Get rid of those cans. Don't create garbage. Get something that charges up. I chose this one on Amazon just because it had the most excellent reviews on it, and it's a no brand. I don't know. I'm guessing they're all pretty much the same. The title's just Air Duster. Not very creative. But that's pretty much it. There's the connector, all the parts that come with it. Nice knurled handle. This thing is very small. So, uh, I don't know what else to say about it. 
I think it's good. Built-in battery. You can't uh, change out the batteries if it ever wears out. This thing ran for hours. Of course, it'll run longer if you run it on lower speed. Hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing.